Hi, uh, so I'll have a look at what's going on here today. So I'm still on the top down, trundling up and down, and in the distance you can see Johnny on the on Fast Track 3220 with the topper going around the edges. And if I look around there, you can just see in the distance young Josh on the new 60. 215, 6215 John Deere. He's got the twin leg pulling up the tram lines before I go in there. And then way, way over in the distance, you might be able to see Nick. He's on the other John Deere, older one. And he's got a hedge cutter on. He's just going around pushing back some of the hedges just to make it a bit easier. And uh, like I said, I'm this field which is with beans again and I've got the top down on which is making a lovely job so it's all go it's all go here at the moment thing and uh, I was working on this field last night until about nine and then breakage time and you can see on the top down the main lift wheels in the center there have separated from the frame so now we're just trying to figure out how to move it off the land and get it back up the workshop a bit of welding. beast on the back this old gang which is I'm just gonna take the lock pins out good old girl we pulled her out of the undergrowth and I took her for a spin on the field here yesterday and she's doing doing a good job although a bit a bit well worn see those discs are pretty smooth now Out this other safety pin. And let's, let's get her unfolded. Not very delicate when it comes to unfolding. Like on a lot of these machines, one spool valve controls more than one function so on here what I've got set up on number one spool valve is a folding mechanism and then by changing a couple of valves down on the main frame um, that then is your work height so we get this unfolded pressure on there and then what I've got to do if you come with me for a minute is change these valves here so then that changes 
our number one spool from raising the wings to dropping in and out of work. So there she goes, ready to go. Make sure we've still got our swath set up from yesterday. Which hopefully, if I start the guidance, See, we've still got our swaths from the work I was doing yesterday. The light on this screen is diabolical, really. It's not easy to see. So we've got our guidance line coming up. We can get onto that. And, uh, and she's dropping in quite nice. She tends to drop in a bit slower than the top down. I maybe need to adjust the speed on that a little bit because I'm just not quite dropping in as quick as I'd like to. And when I'm coming out, I've just got to be a little bit careful where I'm turning out on the headland. But, uh, I'm not stressing, not stressing the legs and this by turning with them in the ground too much. It seems to be it's not, it's quite a lot different than the top down. Quite the finish the top down gets, but we're still doing well. Easier and uh, using less litres an hour, which is always a good thing. So there's the top down, waiting for the parts in the field. So as soon as we can, uh, as soon as we get the parts for that, we'll be back on the road, back on the field with them anyway. Another field now, and uh, it's good. You can clearly see here where we've put the twin leg subsoiler through on the tram lines to pull them up before I come across. That's what I was saying the other day. It just makes it a bit easier when I'm crossing the line of drilling and I'm not hammering into the tram lines really solidly that they've all been freed up a little bit. I'm just going around the headland at the moment, uh, just, just to pull them up. Quite a nice, easy little pull. This field might be a little bit tougher. I'm just going to whiz around on the headland here. And then get dropped back in. About this control, it's just nice and easy, just single button operation on the command stick. Like I said the other day, we've got all these simple controls here. So, one hand on the steering wheel when you do need to steer, and everything else is done 
via this. Obviously on the discs, for example, I've got the main lifting and out of work is on spool one. So spool one corresponds to these pair of buttons here. So uh, quite easily in and out of work on that one. Then I've also got on here, I've got the packers on the back and I can also put on hydraulics. And I've also got the points on hydraulics as well on this one. So I can raise or lower them a bit if I need to. Uh, the discs on this one are fixed on the in and out of work on the small one. So uh, once you set up going really, it's pretty pretty straightforward. You can see the job it's doing there. So here I'm just it's headland trams, I'm just going over these so when I'm coming up and down the runs through them. Again, I'm not hitting them at 90 degrees or a bit of an angle, so I've just pulled it and let's it up a little bit. That's quite good. It's a lovely day. The turbines are whizzing around nicely. Again, just have a look and see how how things are wearing. We've got a lot of wear on the points, but they'll do for now. Front discs, you can see there, still got their shape to them, which is good. We actually dropped. We drop the points by a couple of inches just to go a bit deeper into this ground. If you have a look, you can see what's happening to the ground here. It's cracking up now. Got some deep cracks in the ground. That is breaking down nicely. Checking to see how things are looking underneath. Would you believe it? No point. So we're just trying to see if we have another one on the bar. If not, that may be a done deal with the discs today, we'll see. a bearing on one of the pack of rollers earlier on. Uh, this bearing tucked away down in here gave up the ghost earlier on today so we had to fit her out and drop the, drop the packers out and put another bearing in. So that's one thing repaired anyway. See how much later we can work. Somewhere out 
there is my point. Only it was still attached. Oh well. Time for a cuppa. Right, the master plan is because because this is old girl's been sat in the undergrowth for so long. We haven't actually got any legs, any uh, any points. So the alternative solution is to take out this leg and just run run with the others for now. Seems like a plan, doesn't it? Do that. In theory, if we tap this in, here's one I made earlier. Right, so we find somewhere for this bad boy to go. Oh. Marvelous. And we'll crack on.